So I got this uh, cheap leather uh, sewing machine there. It's just a manual machine. Uh, there's quite a few uh, on YouTube, but it's really the most affordable way that you can get into uh, doing some pretty thick uh, leather sewing and definitely a lot faster than hand punching and, uh, and hand sewing. So these are available uh, through Amazon, lots of different uh, sources and variants of them, but they've got to be all coming from the same factory in China. Um, I think I was paying about 250 Canadian uh, delivered to my door. Down in the States, I think guys are talking, they're getting them for about $125 uh, US. So either way, super, super cheap. And, uh, but the one thing that, that is a problem with them is that they come with this really awful uh, stand that uh, is sort of a three leg stand. I don't know what you'd set it on. It's too low to set on the ground. It's too high to be set on top of a working surface. So what we're gonna do today is build a, a walnut base for this to sit on properly so that it can be moved around like you would a regular sewing machine, set it on a tabletop and actually do some work with it. So starting with some rough lumber here, we get a 10 inch wide piece of walnut and uh, we're going back and forth between the thickness planer and the jointer and then finally the table saw and we'll get uh, this piece all squared up. So now we got the foundation of our base, everything's square, everything's flat. Um, now this doesn't uh, leave much room underneath the actual walking foot there. Um, even when it's propped up here, uh, doesn't really give us much room there. So what we're gonna do is create a block on the back side there, and that will allow us to raise that up and get it into a better position so we've got more room under the walking fit foot of the machine. So to make that elevated base, I've got this piece of wood here that's already been uh, glued together and laminated. It's got a few different pieces in it. It is walnut. And the way I bought this piece was actually by weight. So these were cutoffs or parts of failed projects or something like that, that uh, my lumber supply store got a hold of. And they've got a bin that they just sell off uh, remnants basically and, and shorts and that sort of thing. Um, by weight. So it doesn't matter what type of wood it is, um, you know, it's just by the weight that you're going. So if you can sort of pick through it and figure out which ones you can, you can find some pretty darn good deals. And uh, so I think this is going to uh, fit the purpose that we need right now. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and then we'll uh, mill up the rest and then uh, cut the section off that we need. All right, so we got this guy cleaned up. It does ship with a lot of oil on it. So, uh, you know, you can't touch the thing without just getting covered in it. So a lot of degreaser and some brake clean and we're, uh, should be good to go there now. So we got that cleaned up. One thing to keep in mind though, when you do buy these, the, I don't know if I can get that focus on there, but the casting quality is absolutely atrocious. So you can see it all through the paint and everything like that. Um, the castings are very porous. Um, they do grind off these bits, but there's still some rough edges on them. So this isn't really a finished piece of machinery in my mind, but for the price, you can't really expect anything more than this, I don't think. So um, there's some other guys on YouTube that have uh, definitely disassembled these, cleaned them up, you know, all proper and have put uh, new coats of paint on them and they do look uh, quite great. Um, but uh, we're not gonna overdo it there just yet. We're going to overdo it on the base instead. 
So, uh, got the walnut here uh, all glued up. We just got it clamped. We're waiting for that to clear or to, to cure. And then we'll continue on with the base. And for finish, we're going to go with the Osmo uh, wood wax finish. Really easy to apply. Um, really enjoyed this finish and it goes a long way. So a small can can certainly cover uh, a lot of uh, square feet of board. And here we have the finished product. So it is uh, very stable. Uh, the weight of the machine and the weight of the base uh, definitely make it very stable. And it's at a great working height uh, when you put it on your uh, on a table.